Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Al Pot King Carter. I want to welcome you guys to a brand new NBA 2K24 video. Today we're here to talk about something that I love, that I enjoy. My career. That's right, baby. Where are my old heads at? Where are my nine to fivers at? People don't want to go to the park, don't want to be in a wreck, don't want to watch nothing at the theater. The my career lovers. Now nah, listen, listen, listen. I I I'm, I know I'm trolling. I know I'm trolling. Let me chill out. But I just watched like 15 of my own NBA 2K My Career videos. And I just want to say the nostalgia, bro. The nostalgia. The look on my face, bro. I, I smiled in every video. Literally every single video I played in, I was literally all teeth. Even before Invisalign, bro. Like, yo, watching my NBA 2K I mean, look, NBA 2K, my NBA 2K 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, even watching all of them back. It really showed that my career is really this shit. So I want to make a promise to y'all and I, I want to know what y'all think in the comment section. I need y'all to keep it all the way tall with me. I want to get back. To make in my career videos. I want to get back to recording 10 minute to 12 minute quarter uh, games. Throwing them up on YouTube. Some face cam. Some not face cam. Uh, endorsement videos. The, the whole shebang. The whole production. Because when I was watching my 2K14. My 2K15. And even 2K16 Spike Lee joint vids. I'm just like yo. I was really like happy the whole time. It's crazy. Are you running then? You you sitting up there meowing and all that? Come here. Come here. Come here, bro. You steady up there meowing. What you got to say now, bro? You messing up my video. Are you going to say anything to the camera? See what I got to deal with? All day long. Meow, 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 meow. That's it. That's crazy, bro. Let me out again, dog. All right. So, like I was saying, the nostalgia was there. So, like I was saying, the nostalgia was there. I really loved making the videos. But today, I'm going to talk to you guys about the hints that 2K are dropping and the way that it's sending the community in a frenzy. So let's go ahead and talk about. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, King Kong. All right, so NBA 2K put out a tweet that says, NBA 2K24's My Career has been streamlined so you can put the focus on your game. Now, I'm not sure if you guys understand this. But in recent years of NBA 2K, they have been, let's say, experimenting with different things off the court to bring more to your 2K storyline as a My Career player. Now, of course, a lot of the community, whether it's people on Twitter, people on Reddit, people in Instagram comments, people in YouTube videos, they have asked to broaden the my career story. Now with 2K being able to try to experiment on that, it seems to not have been working because my career has simply been less played. And what I mean is not the mode because what you have to understand is my career, the mode has many variations to it. So people click that more than a lot of the other modes in 2K. But I'm talking about actually going through the actual my career story, not to the end when you get your trophy, but making it all the way to the Hall of Fame. There's only a few YouTubers that I've seen make it to the Hall of Fame in video form. And I could just imagine about how many people even thought about going to the Hall of Fame that just played on a day-to-day -day basis, the week-to-week -week basis, the month-to-month -month basis. So what I'm here to tell you guys is what I think about the streamlining, right? Now, before I get into my thoughts, because my brain is crazy and I love when y'all comment about my brain, because 
sometimes we be on the same type sync wave shit. Is it wavelength sync late? I'm like that, right? Yeah. But let's go ahead and watch this video because like I told y'all in one of my last videos, I like the way that they did this crossplay trailer. Because if you watch the crossplay trailer, there are different instances where the young boy on a bike, he rolled to different commercial sets, different real sets, different video shoots, different commercials. And this is one of them. All right. So let's go ahead and watch real quick. Are you starting a fashion line? Are you going to transition Listen, to doing movies? In 24, my career is more streamlined than ever. I'm just trying to focus on ball. Jay, what can we expect from you? If you guys notice, a lot of the uh, media coverage teams and stuff like that asked them about fashion, asked them about music, asked them about all these different things. And he said, in 24, which is NBA 2K24, he said, I'm focused on ball. So let's talk about what I think that means. And then we'll hop into some comments on this Twitter feed. Now let's talk about streamlining for a moment because when, and I'm only going to talk about from 2k 14 on, I won't talk about 13, 12, 11, 10. I know they were amazing games as well, but I want to talk more to the storyline of NBA 2k. In NBA 2K14, when you started out your career, you started out your career, you know, shooting some hoops, some some a, a person from, you know, a uh, uh, impoverished neighborhood type thing. And, you know, you had your homie who was, you know, coming up with you and, you know, decided to be a manager and stuff like that. And that storyline was like, OK, you see what it's like coming from where you from trying to bring your friend along and other people other sharks you know what i mean trying to get in your pockets and you know promising you the glitz the glamour and things of that nature but what i always noticed about nba 2k's 14 storyline was that the cut scenes the transitions the things that you had to you know when you wanted to go to a game it would let you see if you in a car let you see if you on a plane get traveling to games like actual basketball players do you know what i'm saying like some players take team buses some players take planes some players drive like all of this was in nba 2k14 right and then in nba 2k15 we got something even different a little bit a little bit of a uh, 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 180 you come into the league and you believe in an underdog the underdog agent that is. And this agent is trying to get you all of these deals. He's trying to get you drafted. But again, there's sharks in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? You like, yo, uh, we can get you the glitz and the glamour. We could do this, we could do that. And that and that little lonely agent is trying his hardest to get you 10 day contracts and trying to get you on different teams. And you know, you it's literally the ups and downs of an NBA career when you don't have the right representation. And then NBA 2K16 came out, a Spike Lee joint. This is where you had a loving family around you, a supporting a supporting cast. Like it wasn't just you know single mom and one that type of story. You came from a, a good family. You went to college. You had your homie. You know what I'm saying from the hood. You had a you know what I'm saying a, you know more people in your life. You know you had a little girlfriend. You had a whole bunch going on in NBA 2K16. But the goal was, you know, make it to the league, choose where you wanted to go in college. You know what I'm saying? Like all of these nuances of like, oh my God, this is really getting to like a real NBA career, but it, it stayed basketball. You had your off court situations that happened because it's real life, but it wasn't geared to like how we've seen in recent years. And then, you know, we all know NBA 2K17, one of, I'm just going to have to go ahead and say it. One of the best storylines that had an actual blockbuster actor in it now, like Michael B. Jordan was in that game. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Kobe was in that game. Like, you know, these, these type of things really like transcended a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like the storyline was good. The girlfriend was good. Her, por her portion of the story, her scenes were really, really dope. You know what I'm saying? The scenes in college was really, really dope. Like, man, 
bro, Justice, like, his cutscenes was, it was like, 2K17 was like, yo, that, this joint fire. And then we went to next gen. And then this is where they showed us endorsements, like heavy, heavy, heavy on real deal, holy field endorsements. Now, some people would say NBA 2K18 was a little bit too much, too many endorsements. But from what I remember, starting back in 2K10, 2K11, like you used to be like, yo, the Dime Magazine. Bro, when you got the Jordan signature shoe in, in 2, 2K11, you was like, oh my God, I got the signature shoe. Nowadays, you can literally sign to who you want. Dudes is telling you in a jet, in the back of a limousine, I can get you Adidas, I can get you Nike, I can get you Jordan, I can get you Converse, I can get you New Balance, all of these things. And it's like, yo, this is what real rookies and, and rookies that are really good, top 10 draft picks, top 15, stuff like that. This is what they was dealing with. They was dealing with so many people reaching out to them, wanting, wanting all of them and them having to stretch themselves eight different ways. Now, of course, 2K19, 2K20, 2K21, 2K22, 2K23. Some people will say that the my career in, well, not even 2K23, we'll, we'll hold that for last. But from 19 to about 22, some people will say that the storyline started to kind of feel the same. Because at that point, 2K knew what they had. They have heavy endorsements in 2K. They have all of the best brands and stuff like that. So they said, hey, you know what? Let's go ahead and get them, you know, Ruffles and, and all of these other top tier brands and stuff like that. I remember, you know, the Mountain Dew and the, the, the cereal. Like, it was just so many endorsements being thrown at you. But that's where we was getting our VC from. We was getting them VC checks and deals and stuff like that. I remember um, walking over to go collect my check before I hit the park. <laughs> almost every other day like that's what we was doing we was gonna go spin the wheel we was gonna go collect the check and then we was gonna run some park like that's what it was you know what i'm saying or wreck you know what i'm saying if you wanted to run wreck but that's that's what it was and then 2k23 hit all the other 2ks and of course the next gen 2ks they were a little bit different 21 to 22 their storylines were a little bit different but it still gave the same feeling like oh my god penthouse you start from an apartment um, your homie that you grew up with is going to be your manager. Like they, they kind of found a story that worked, you know what I'm saying? And it was like, you know what? Let's keep building on that story. So those stories were kind of like the same. Then 2K23 hit 2K23 completely changed everything. When I loaded up NBA 2K23, you know what I felt like? I felt I like, I don't care. <laughs> Siri be on my ass. Uh, I felt like the story was no longer about you. It was no longer NBA 2K My Career starring your my player. Because if you guys remember, in the old 2Ks, that's how it always started out. You know, you get a couple cutscenes and stuff like that. By the time you get through the cutscenes, it'll be like NBA 2K My Career starring your player's name. I felt like literally the moment you picked your player, what you wanted to create, you picked your build and you hit X. It literally took you to your rival. And, and they was throwing fastball after fastball. Okay, let's make it a, 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 um, a NBA pun. Chess pass after chess pass after chess pass of rival, 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 rival. And that's what the NBA 2K23 story became. It became all about your rival. Your rival had all the best cutscenes. He was giggling. He was laughing. He was doing all the list. You, he was tarnishing your name. And, you know, you could either take the high road. You could take the, the, the low road with them and stuff like that to get up, you know, different tiers of different badges that you would use in my career. But in a sense, that's what it felt like. The endorsement side to things Yes, there was heavily endorsements in that game, but they were overshadowed by off the court actions because we wanted to be in fashion. We wanted to be in music. So it was so many things going on. You getting you getting punched on by your rival at every at every chance. You want to get into the fashion game. So you got to do all these fashion accolades and and and, and directives. You want to get into the music game. You got to be the best person with the bars. 
You know what I'm saying? You got to do this. You know what I'm saying? I, I remember when Dame, <laughs> when we had the Dame in the studio. And all that. But look, you had to be the best in the music, so you had to go around freestyling all over the place. You had to do all these off-court actions, and you literally stopped playing the game. I know that there were so many, so many people that played my career, and and I'm gonna be honest with you. There were people that called my phone, my phone, my literal cell phone, and said, "What is 2K doing?" And I didn't understand when they were saying it. They was like, "Yo, why is the game like this?" And me, this guy, I'm like, "Yo, I like this shit. This shit innovative. I'm I'm doing different shit and all that." They was like, "Yo, I hate this shit." I was like, oh shit. So I had to step back and look at it from a like a like out of body experience, like literally out of body to like, why don't people like this my career story? Cause I'm I'm doing all kinds of different shit. I'm I'm saying Dr. Disrespect, free throws, all this crazy stuff. I'm doing free throws against this girl to get some kicks and some knowledge. Like I'm doing all these off the court actions, but people wasn't enjoying it. And then I started realizing, like, oh, I know why they're not enjoying it. Because the story overshadows playing the actual NBA games. There were times where you had to go through a cutscene. That cutscene may have had additional bullet point cutscenes within it, like maybe two hours worth before you could even play your next game. And I'm talking about you would have had to go to the Gatorade facility. You would have had to go to the training department. You would have had to go see the coach. Then they would have had a meeting across town. You only on a skateboard. You know what I'm saying? This is before people even knew what fast travel was. You know what I'm saying? Like going down to the train using fast travel, people ain't know about all that. So people was on the skateboard, kicking, pushing, kicking, pushing, kicking and pushing. So I was like, dang, this is why people don't like it because it pulled away from actual basketball. It pulled away from you being able to load up NBA 2K My Career, go into the My Career, and hit play next game. That's what it stopped. It stopped all of the regular stuff that you would have normally done a decade ago and made things so insanely like just time consuming. And a lot of people don't have time. Some people just want to get on and build a My Player. Now, I can't speak for 2K on why they made the game like that. I enjoyed it, but I don't know if you did. You know what I'm saying? But for 2K to say that they've streamlined the NBA 2K, my career, it's to put focus back on just playing the game. They're going to have whatever cutscene you need to watch. You watch it, you record it, you do whatever, but it's probably not going to have all of those a thousand million quests that you need to do to take over the city. Because guess what? When you want to take over the city and you want to be an NBA superstar, it's always going to be a clash because you can't play your 15th NBA game without finishing off taking over that city. Whatever flag they dropped at that moment, whatever portion of the city that you want, you have to take that over. So it, it made people who only played my career in the offline experience go out into the city at the online experience and, it, and, and not have a great experience with the actual product. And it was like, damn. It took me a while to realize that because somebody like me who enjoyed the whole my career stuff, which I did essentially beat the my career story, which means I got my championship belt. I got my statue in front of the in front of the arena. But once I got done with that and we watched, like had our last couple cutscenes, I chucked the deuces. After that, I was in the park, the rec, the theater. I was in Pro-Am. I was in Annie Up. I was in the 2K Club. I was in the event center. I got a lot of shit going on, baby. I'm in a, I'm a, I'm a whole motherfucking online person now. My career was done for me. And the craziest thing is when I made my second build, I didn't go through none of the my career experience because I didn't have to. I knew what badges I needed. I knew how to grind my badges and I went online. So for people that don't like the online experience, it hurt it. It hurt it. It hurt it and it hurt them. But hey, that's my thoughts on it. Now, let's actually read some comments. This I ain't gonna lie, this comment right here had me crying. So I don't know if he knows who grinding is. He has to know who he is. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't know grinding in this community, I don't know what's going on with you. But <laughs> grinding was like, who trying to be my teammate day one? 
This dude said, day one, you should be in career grinding, getting badges, etc. Anyone who wants to be your teammate on day one isn't serious about winning or making a quality player. Put in work. I'm just going, I'm just going to show you one reply. This dude right here. He said, yeah, he's old. Best players in the park. Day one and grind badges there while learning the game. Only dudes and career day one are people who don't got VC or just trying to enjoy the story aspect. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, that's, that's tough. I muted somebody. Oh, that's tough. Um, let me see. Thank God I don't put a glizzy on my head to play my, my PJ shit. <laughs> Bet no more cutscenes about all court style hustles and just basketball. Salute. That's me. Because I realized it like, oh snap, that's that's what it was. That's what it was. That's what it was. Um, that's a W because in 2K23, I was a door dasher in between games. You definitely was, bro. You was, dog. I remember that. I remember, I remember. <laughs> Fucking going from f doing flyer to flyer, place to play. Yo, that is wild, bro. That is wild, bro. All right. Does this finally mean I don't have to be an entrepreneur, rapper, clothes store manager, Tony Hawk's associate, and local Nike employee before I play a game of basketball? These are these are valid points. What other what other uh joints I got? Let me see. Um, you're telling me I don't have to be forced to run around with a hot dog on my head before I'm allowed to play one next game. Okay. All right. Let me see. All right. You don't lift. You don't have to lift. Hold on. You don't have a lift pass. You ain't supposed to ski here. <laughs> Yo, the, the bars is crazy, bro. No more forced fashion shows and studio sessions just to play an NBA game. Absolute cinema. All right. Everyone not knowing what the fuck this vague post means. Okay. Drop gameplay. Okay. Hold up. You telling me if I buy a basketball game, I get to focus on basketball. Genius. Okay. Um, let me see. Gameplay game comes out September 8th. No game. Okay. Sheesh. Sheesh. He's, he's snapping on people. Um, the glitz and glamour should still be there, but optional. It's still, it's still a part of the NBA scene for some folks. My career is the NBA life and those stuff are part of the, of this current NBA. What sucks is they, they're not shippable or required for your career advancement. Okay. Yeah. Um, Please, God, just keep the old gen style where it's a generic story and we get endorsements just playing. I don't want to run through a lagged out town just so I can talk to Zion about managing his Popeye's deal. Yo, yo, people are crazy, bro. Nah, you just said that was Zion, bro. Oh, my God. Keep MVP of the city type quest. Um, I need the VC. <laughs> All right, let me see. Oh, good. Y'all had me die, doing everything for a second. I thought y'all was about to have me working for Big Meech and Southwest T. <laughs> if I would have played for Detroit. <laughs> Yo, all right, listen. Listen, if you don't know what BMF is, bro, that's that's a that's a W comment right there, bro. I cannot lie, bro. What the fuck, man? All right, let me see. Wish, I wish we can go back to the basics like 2K10 to 2K14. We can upgrade every stat to 99 and get every badge, but my grinding and playing the game make things in the NBA career count. Okay. All right. Oh, let me see. I guess, I guess that's the cat face right there. Um, okay. Thank God. Hopefully it's like 2K10 to 2K13, Summer League, Training Camp, G League, etc. It would be dope to be able to earn your starting spot hype before season starts. Or choose your own path as an underdog, free agent in the summer league. Um, the crazy part is some of this was already done in other iterations. Um, but I do get what he's saying. You know, you choose and then you go through the story. Like if you choose to, you know, go to the G League or you choose to go overseas or you choose to go to the NBA for a terrible team 
would you ball out and be able to cho- be chosen number one? You should choose what you what you want to be. You know what I'm saying it's like, um, okay, boom. Yeah, hold up. This means you will pay for your bills with money even more. I'm not a huge fan of um all the missions, but those four daily objectives of Uncle Bobby, Tina, Lance, Sabine, and Yolanda, music trivia, etc., kept my VC high because you could do it for every bill every day. 2K VC per bill added up. Ooh, added up. He talk he talking that talk real quick. He talk listen, he just let he just letting he just letting the people know. That was one of his VC grinds. You know what I'm saying? But that's true. You know what I'm saying? Some people really grinded the game that way. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm tired of putting in so much work every year 2K drops. Only if there was a way to transfer your skills to the next drop so you could actually make it to year two or three. See? That's one of the people right there that don't even make it to their sophomore year in my career. Let alone a goddamn Hall of Fame. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> no more mandatory side quests. <laughs> Yo. Oh, my God. Yo, somebody had to Google it, bro. Nah, no way you didn't know how. To... Yo, you didn't know what Streamline meant, bro. No way, bro. Nah, this is crazy, bro. Nah, this nah, this person got a lot of time on their hands. I ain't gonna cap. I'm not reading all that. I'm looking for a paragraph. Some some with a lot of substance. Uh, I don't see I don't see no more. I guess all the top. Oh, hold on. Oh, we got something from Swante. Uh, they say stop complaining though. Now we don't gotta go down the runway to max out our mob player anymore. And I guess he's banging his head. Up against the table. Damn, he gonna throw it. <laughs> Playing 2K without being a rapper and a fashion model. I used to pray for times like this. I <laughs> like this. In a matter. All right, man, just bring uh 2K 17 parts and 16 parts. It'd be cool. Yo, everybody stuck in those two years, bro. It was, that must have been the best years in niggas' lives, bro. Like things must be really down bad, bro. If, you just keep running, run back to sixteen to seventeen, bro. I don't know, bro. We ain't never, we ain't never gonna innovate, bro. I ain't gonna lie, we ain't never gonna innovate. All right, the rest of these Joneses, you know what I'm saying? We chilling now. This, this is something that a lot of people always say. Damn, did I lose the, did I lose the tweet? Okay, boom. This person, Dave, said, "I want to turn off storylines, ball out, make the Hall of Fame. Simple as that." He don't even care about the storyline. He just want to ball out. All right, it's probably more tweets, but it's not going to load them, of course, because this is Twitter. Let me know what you guys think about this whole my career debacle. Let me know if you guys think it's a matter of fact, <clears throat> leave a leave a comment, a W and why it's a W or leave a L and why it's a L. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I already know how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to play it regardless and I'm going to have fun with it regardless. But I just want to see 2K keep innovating. I don't want to see them get stagnant at all. I don't want to see them just, you know, build out just one story and that just be our story for the next 10 years. I want them to keep innovating like they have been doing, keep trying new things, see what the community likes, and then we take it from there. Like, you got you got to understand, with 2K23, they really, really tried to push the envelope crazy with all of the stuff that they was throwing at us, bro. Like, like when I booted up 2K, I deadass had a checklist of stuff that I need to do. Like dead ass. Like I was like, yo, man, I got so much stuff to do. All right, boom, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get a couple part games in, then I'm gonna come back and do this because these timers are off. Like it wasn't like a, a regular reset. It was like timers would be offset a couple hours, like four hours do this, the next four hours do this. It might be a downtime of four hours, then the next eight hours you got to complete it. Like it was so many different things going on in 2K that I had to have timers for. But I got most of my stuff done and I enjoyed the year. My six nine build. It's amazing. But I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I know that I've held you up uh, pretty long, um, but I appreciate the likes, appreciate the comments, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. I King Kong. King Kong.
Thinkor.